the next thing to do is to convert the values here to row numbers but the if function is not happy with arrow values so I'm going to use the function is number and this one will return true or false for each value in this array so the first value the error value is not a number so it returns false the next one is a number so it returns true and so on and now I'm going to use the if function and the logical expression is the formula so far and I want the row number here, the corresponding row number here, but I'm going to enter 1 and then 0 in the third argument just to show you. So if the logical expression here returns false, the if function returns 0, and if it returns true, it returns 1. Now I need to build an array that contains the row numbers here. And the cell range I'm working with is this one here. So I want an array of rows, row numbers that begins with one, and then two, three, four, and five. And to do that, I'm going to use the match function and then the row function. And then this cell range here, and then comma, and then row again, and this, and then ending parenthesis. And now I'm going to copy this and put it here and extend the array formula. So we can see all the values in this array. And now it returns 0. And then it returns the row number for this cell here, which is 2. And it returns 5 for this cell here, which is also true. And then I'm going to use the small function. And I can't use zeros here because it the small function returns zero but it ignores text values or blanks so I'm going to use a blank here and now it returns blanks and numbers now it's time for the small function to find the smallest value and the second smallest and so on equal sign small function parenthesis and the formula so far and then rows and a cell reference that will expand when I copy this formula to cells below and an ending parenthesis and now this formula here returns only a value so now I need to copy this formula to cells below, not extending the array formula. And you can do that by clicking on the cell and then copy it and then paste it to cells below like this. Or you can select the cell, click on the dot, click and hold on the dot and then drag to cells below. The formula now knows that the values we want is in row, second row in this cell range here, and the fifth row. And the index function 
lets you fetch values from the cell range. And I forgot to copy. the formula and the first argument is the cell range I want to use and it has only one column so I only need to uh, use row numbers in the second argument so an ending parenthesis and then press control shift and then enter to build an array formula and now copy it to cells below and there you have it that's how the this formula works the formula in cell f4 and f5 allows you to search for a value and in this case it's the value in cell f2 and if this value is found in this cell range here, it returns the corresponding value from this column here. And you can see here that pen is not found in this text string, but it's found here, not here, here, not here either, and here. Here it is there. So it returns the corresponding value, this value and this value. So how does this formula work? You have the search function that lets you look for a text string in another text string. And I'll show you how it works. Search, and the first argument is the text you want to find, and in this case it is in cell F2 pen. And the second argument is where I want to look in, the cell range I want to look in. And then enter this as an array formula because it will return an array of values that has the same size as this cell range here. And then expand so it shows all the values in the array and the search function returns an error if the value is not found and if it is found it returns the character the first character in this text string and one two three four five six seven so pen is begins at character 7 in this text string here and here it is character number 5 